Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron here once again with another video. And uh, a couple weeks ago, Rocket Lab released this cool footage of them performing a test of their booster drop, as you can see in the video right now. They dropped uh, a, a similar st a test article to what their Electron uh, booster would look like, and then they they catched it out of midair, uh, or caught it out of midair, whatever. Uh, vocabulary is not my thing. I'm an engineer, not a not a writer or a speaker. But anyway, uh, so they caught it and they landed it or brought it back to where they needed to, and uh, it was a safe recovery. It was a successful test, and uh, I think this is very unique and very cool. This is similar to how SpaceX reuses their first stage boosters, but it's got its own unique twist to it. So uh, I thought, well, what if you can do this in Kerbal Space Program? So I went ahead and I tried to. Uh, I tried doing it the, the, the good old fashioned way with a helicopter, but unfortunately, I just I just suck at piloting helicopters. I, I don't know if I built it wrong, you know, I just, I don't have a lot of experience with helicopters. I don't like that there's not an, an actual swash plate that's controlling the rotors, it's just the game, you know, doing things to the rotors. So, if, if, you know, if I knew what was going on, maybe I would have a better idea, but unfortunately I don't. And the cyclic, yeah, I just explode. The cyclic pitch and uh, roll controls were just were just terrible and I couldn't I would, I would stall it and I couldn't quite hover it so I switched to this design here this is a uh, I call it the owl for some reason I don't know why it kind of looks like an owl with its claws on the bottom there but yeah so I switched to jet engines because uh, I needed more throttle response uh, a better throttle response and even though the jet engines do don't have a good throttle response uh, the thing about these these panther engines is they have the afterburner and so uh, I can kind of use the uh, the regular stationary thrust and then just quick keeps toggling between a uh, stationary and afterburner to to really get a quick throttle response and that's what I was looking for when I was uh, trying to catch this booster so as you can see now on the screen I dropped the booster from uh, my uh, my little owl or little grabber up there uh, the parachutes deployed so now uh, basically I just try to fall and uh, try to catch it out of midair but this uh this served some problems it was quite difficult uh, as you can see, uh, I, I tried I tried getting it um, multiple times this way. Uh, this is my first attempt. I, um, I don't think... Yep, it just went right into the water. Okay, I failed. Failed that one. Uh, second attempt. Uh, nope, that one, didn't, that one didn't work. Maybe we'll try uh, try approaching it again. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing seems to be working. Um, and unfortunately, this is, this is what, uh, this is what most of my, uh, my time playing the game trying to do this was, uh, was, was about. It was just me trying to catch it and fail, um, effort, all, all the time. I just, I could not, I could not get the, the per thing perfectly lined up, uh, and, and on top of it at the same time. The parachutes were making it weird because I couldn't see, and, and so, uh, um, I, I tried, I tried for a long time. Um, but e eventually, uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I kind of gave up. And, uh, after about, you know, four hours of gameplay, I decided to switch, uh, switch designs. So, I, I, I'm keeping the same jet, uh, design, multi-jet design, with claws on top. And so, by putting the claws on top, I feel like I have a better chances of, uh, catching the rocket as, just by hovering below it and kind of letting the booster fall on top of me per se I, I'm not sure if, if that's the, the, what, what exactly is happening I, I guess that, that is what's happening I'm, we're both falling but you know uh, the booster is slightly falling faster so um, as you can see I, I'm, I'm just flying up to our our nice height that we want to get to kind of toggling the camera views trying to get some nice cool cinematic views for you and then toggling my afterburners oh I had an engine out there but that was just because uh, I had an air intake problem and then, um, and then there, I drop the booster. Parachutes go just like planned. Uh, following, chasing it just like planned. Um, there goes the parachutes. Uh, I also, if you don't, if you didn't notice, I uh, I changed the spread rate, the spread span angle of the parachute. I don't know if you can if you can physically see that in the game. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I did I did change that to try to you know get that booster falling as slow as possible, so I'd have as much time. To, to try to grab it here but as you can see my my redesign kind of is working a little bit better I'm able to get a little bit closer to it a little bit closer uh, and yes so after about a, a bunch of fails with that I did eventually get it and let me tell you guys this was a pain in the ass it was it was hard this probably took me a full 
day, a full 24 hours of playing the game to finally get it. So here we go, kind of approaching it. I, I bump into it. I don't really, it's not good, not looking good. I was I was kind of kind of giving up at this point. I was like, it's never going to happen. It's never going to work. I'm getting close, but I just don't think I can get quite underneath it. I was having issues just trying to keep it level and under it, underneath the booster at the same time. And then, oh! Eventually, I got it. I just it just popped right in there, and it and it worked. So I uh, detached the uh, parachutes. You had to because I was having some issues trying to fly, you know, with parachutes on top of the booster. So I cut those parachutes, and then uh, I flew back to the KSC or yeah, Cripple Space Center. Yeah, KSC. Uh, I flew back to the KSC for a awesome booster recovery landing, and um, and to prove that you. You can, you can actually catch boosters uh, out of the midair. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend doing this at like a full launch scale because you're gonna have to put a ship out there to have this little picker upper thing out there, and might as well just perform a landing at that point anyway on the ship. So you know what? That's just easier to to burn and land normally. So anyway, guys, that completes the video. If you enjoyed that, please drop a link. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see any other uh, weird things or cool recreations. And as always, subscribe and stay tuned for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching, guys.